When we're learning, we want the fastest possible feedback loop so that we can see how our changes affect the results. That was one of the key reasons why I moved to the open source FPGA tools back when I was a complete FPGA newbie. I was able to iterate 20 times faster. When I first got into how ASICs works, I wanted to understand how an inverter works at the lowest level. How the transistors cooperate to convert a high input to a low output, and vice versa. I think it took me a whole day to draw a working inverter that I could use to simulate and get a result. The problem with even the open source ASIC tools is that it takes a while to learn how to draw the shapes. Then you've got to learn how to extract the circuit into a SPICE file, and then you've got to learn how to use that SPICE file to make a simulation. Then you've got to run the simulation, get the plot, and save it. And then you go make a change and you can't remember which graph you're comparing to what. You don't know what you did and how it changed it. I wanted to reduce the cycle time for playing with analog semiconductor layout, so I could build up an intuitive feel for how the shapes made by the masks combine to produce these effects that end up doing the work of an inverter, or an XOR, or an AND, or so on. So I collaborated with Uri from Wokwefame, and now I'm very pleased to introduce you to Sillywiz. 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 Sillywiz combines the layout, the extraction, the cross-section and simulation all into a single web page that we can use to explore and explain these fundamental concepts, and you don't even need to download anything. So let's take a look at what we can do with Sillywiz. In this first example, there's already a resistor connected between out and ground. Our aim is to add a new resistor from in to out, creating a potential divider. And we draw this using the polyres layer. With the resistor in place, you can see how the output changes in relation to the input. And as we change the thickness of the resistor, its resistance also changes, shown here as the gradient on the graph. The shapes we draw here later become masks, and when they're used sequentially in the semiconductor factory, they build this three-dimensional shape that has some electrical functionality. OK, let's move on to semiconductors. In this puzzle, we already have most of the parts in place for an inverter. It's not CMOS, instead the pull-up is made by this resistor. Right now, the ground is connected through the end diffusion to the output, so we see the output is low. Our job is to turn this into a working inverter. Let's start by drawing the gate in polysilicon. Now you can see the diffusion under the gate is split. That's because when we manufacture, the gate acts as a mask for the diffusion layer. It protects the p-type silicon from the end opened, so now the output is pulled high by the resistor. Let's connect up the gate to the input and see what happens. Great, we've got an inverter. Let's have a look to see how the gate length affects the inversion. And now, what happens if we make a higher resistance by making the resistor thinner? Make a prediction. What do you think will happen? Did you get it right? You can see how this fast iteration will lead to a more intuitive understanding of how the standard cells work, giving a more complete understanding of what happens next when we move on to building digital circuits out of these basic building blocks. Which leads me on to... Tiny Tapeout is an easy way to play with digital logic in your browser. Like SillyWiz, there's no tools to download. We've got a nice set of tutorials here, and after your design is done, you can see how it gets translated into standard cells, and even zoom into a 3D view. If you're super keen, you can pay $100 to get your design added to a chip that we're going to be manufacturing soon. Take a look at some of these cool designs that have already been added. When you receive your chip, you'll also get the other 250 designs that other people have made, so you can try them out too. Here's what people are saying about Tiny Tape out on social media. Tiny Tape submitters will get exclusive advanced access to the SillyWiz training materials and the demo. So if you're keen to try this out yourself, then submit a design before the deadline on the 2nd of December. To find out more, visit the website at tinytapeout.com and make sure you sign up for the newsletter. I want to finish by saying thanks to Uri, to Tim, to Holger for helping me put this together and making it possible, and all the other people that build open source software. By leveraging open source tools like NG Spice and Magic, we were able to put this prototype together in just a few weeks. With your support, we'll create the learning resources needed to make this into an awesome learning experience. So thanks for watching. See you.